What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend, and what a crazy day we're having. I mean, I say that every day, I know. I literally say that every single day, but today just uh, takes the cake, guys, because in today's profits, with today's profits, I passed 2020's profits in the month of February. Let me say that again. I passed all my profits in 2020 just in the month of February, and it's February 4th, so uh, wow. It's going really well. Today I closed out over $5,000 in profits just from day trading and I called it all out live in the Discord voice chat. So if you're not in there yet and you need some help with stocks, definitely check out the link in the description. That's all I'm gonna say about it in this video. But there's a lot of stocks that are setting up for some really good morning panics. TSMP kept running, made a ton of money on that stock today. Definitely heavy on the watch list for tomorrow and we got a lot of really other good ones. I traded a bunch of tickers today. so. Please stick around to the end if you guys like making money because there's a lot of tickers that you do not want to miss. And uh, yeah, let's dive into my computer. It might have to be the PC again because my Mac is still not working for Active Trader Pro. So we'll see if I can get it fixed, but if not, uh, it'll be on the PC. So let's dive into there right now. All right guys, so again, this is not the most flattering angle, but uh, just gotta make do with what we got here. So here is my closed, I guess my list of closed positions on the day. You can see I traded almost $800,000 worth of stock. And again, what allows me to do this is the fact that I now have limited margin, which has been life-changing because I can buy $20,000 worth of a stock, sell $20,000 worth of a stock, and I get that buying power back immediately to buy another $20,000 worth of a stock. So it's really, really nice for day trading. Once you get over that PDT rule, I mean, it literally is like this. So it's been insane. Uh, so here you can see, Here's one that's up after hours. I just want to talk about a couple of those first. So you can see here, L-A-I-X. Uh, this one just started ripping after hours and uh, you sometimes get some really nice opportunities after hours. And I took advantage of this one. It was, it was beautiful. Um, I actually got kind of lucky on this one because I ended up buying here uh, on this bounce and uh, Fidelity crashed on me. I was trying to cancel sell and then it ended up spiking all the way up here and I ended up selling here. So that, that one was just kind of lucky. Um, but this one, if it keeps running tomorrow, definitely is one you want to watch. Just have to be watching it in pre-market because it could continue to go insane. CPSH, this is the one uh, that I had for you two days ago. I took it off the watch list because I thought it was up too much, but it closed near the highs and I had a huge morning spike up today. Absolutely crazy. Uh, at this point, I'm not trading this one. I expect it to fade off. Um, but just to, just to goes to show that, uh, you know, if they spike up, hold their gains, spike up, hold their gains, they can continue to spike and you need to watch them. So definitely going to be still watching LAIX. Uh, another one that's up after hours is TTOO. From what I've heard, this one is up pretty big after hours. So be watching this one. Uh, again, I'm focused mainly on OTC stocks, but there can be some nice opportunities and you get a lot of volatility on these ones. Um, these can go, you know, a thousand percent a day. Uh, you want to see one that was a thousand percent a day? Let's go to that one. AACG. All right, I guess I can't click on it there. AACG. This is another one to watch. This one just had a massive squeeze when it broke out over these highs here, 551 it looks like, maybe, yeah, around that area. Just wanted to absolutely squeeze, man, just insane. I considered buying in here, but was focused on OTCs, and then it spiked all the way up there. Crazy. I traded this after hours when it started spiking, uh, made about 300 on it, and then ended up giving back some of those profits, um, trying to buy some of these dips. So only up, I think, yeah, 57 on that ticker. But if this holds its gains, man, this could continue to spike. Uh, again, it spiked up, held it, spiked up, held it, spiked up. So if it holds here, you know, around this, I don't know, 12 area, I could see that if it holds here, it's going up in pre-market. This, this could rip, man. This could turn into another KOSS. Got to remind you guys, KOSS, what did that do? Same thing, from $3 all the way up to above $100 in just a couple days. So these multi-day runners, you cannot underestimate them. You cannot, I think ZOM is also moving. Uh, so, I mean, you guys probably want to trade this. I don't, I have no interest in trading this. The chart is just so choppy. Very hard to read momentum. There's a lot of, you know, just choppiness. So I wouldn't trade this. TSMP though, guys. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So incredibly beautiful. Uh, I mean, just look at this chart, guys. It's insane. It's insane. I mean, it's up, what was this, on the 1st? That was Monday, right? Yeah, on February 1st, Monday, this thing closed at 40 cents, and now it's at 93 cents, closed near the highs. I expect to see a gap up on this, uh, but we'll see, because you know it's a couple green days in a row, so it might not gap up, but uh, definitely could see a gap up. It saw a nice gap up yesterday, after that strong recovery. Uh, what we're watching here, 
is obviously that 95 cent break. And I just want to explain a little bit what happened here. So I think, I don't know that I got executed on this dip buy and I didn't want to chase. So I ended up not getting in until this dip buy here. I actually have a live recording of that. Um, so I might post a video of that, might not, uh, we'll see. But I mean, again, I got in here, sold on that little spike. I'm taking 20,000 shares at a time with this, which again is like, what, a $15,000 position? 17, something like that. So I mean, it's a lot. Uh, and I mean, you get a couple cents a share. Every penny is 200 bucks if you have 20,000 shares. So you get a five cent bounce. That's $1,000 right there. Uh, so that's nice. Had a lot of nice plays on this. A lot of breakouts, a lot of bounces, a lot of dip. I mean, this thing was just full of opportunities today. I want to explain what happened right here. Um, the high of the day was 94.9 before on TSMP. And you can see here, it, you know, rejected off that level, but found a new base, you know, above this 87 level and then came back up and tested it, broke through that high at 94.9 and was printing 95. You can see there's a ton, there's a ton of volume on these candles right here. I mean, compared to, compared to here, there's a lot of volumes on, on these candles, on these candles. And the reason for that is people were expecting breakout of 95. And uh, when it didn't happen, here's the thing, when it didn't happen, I think there were a lot of bag holders created. And I actually tweeted this out, so feel free to follow me on Twitter at the Laptop Legend. Uh, but you can see, I almost fell into that trap. So like I bought for the breakout of 95, because I mean, it broke out high day. If it broke 95, this thing was running at least a couple cents, maybe testing a dollar. Uh, but, but because it didn't break out and it came down, I was considering not cutting my losses. And the reason for that is every single time it's failed and you cut your losses, it's just bounced back today. You know, you try to buy the breakout here, it fails, it just comes back. Fails here, comes back and breaks out. So like, I think there are a lot of people who expected it to come back off of this bounce. So when it started bouncing right here in this area, but then failed, broke down under this level, broke down under 90, it just created a huge panic, huge panic. And uh, this could have been a good dip buying opportunity. It was a tiny bit choppy at the bottom. So I, I butchered this one, honestly. I butchered this one. I maybe got filled here and you can see, you know, kind of a weird wick and I might've just gotten out for little profits on this one. Uh, but then I kept trading on the one cent breakouts. I mean, it was just beautiful. I mean, just printing money on TSMP guys. So what I expect on this one, uh, if I had to guess, I would say gap up, maybe a little bit more of a run, but we're, we're going to see a huge panic at some point on TSMP. It's just, it's up, it's up a lot guys. It really is up a lot. Uh, valuation, I don't even know what it is off the top of my head. I mean, there's, I mean, it's got to be over three billion at this point, over three billion dollar market cap for a company that, uh, I mean, it has a lot of potential in its future. But again, you know, we haven't heard what the audited financials for this company are. We don't know what the revenues are. We don't know any of that stuff. So for it to be worth three billion dollars is, in my opinion, it's a little overvalued. So if you want to hold long term, now is not the time to buy. Uh, we're going to see a big dip at some point, but. It could keep running before then. So uh, I'm gonna be trading the momentum on this one for sure. If it breaks 95, I think it'll test a dollar. If it breaks a dollar, maybe this thing runs, man. Maybe this thing runs. So we just have to wait and see, but it could get really, really cool if it, uh, if it breaks that dollar mark. So just have to wait and see, but very excited for what's in store with TSMP. Gonna be looking to dip by the huge panic that's coming and looking to ride the momentum as it continues. INKW. Uh, this one, wow. I mean, it spiked right out of the gate, had a big panic, fake out dip by here, uh, panic some more, and then just kind of a choppy dip, panic some more, a little bounce here, panic some more, and then, uh, you know, a little bit of a nice bounce here. I was trading this significantly all day long, uh, again, calling out on the Discord, and the main thing that you want to look for on this is the fact that you don't want to get in right when it's breaking below these areas, if that makes sense. So you can see uh, it fails here and that's the new low of day. And so if you're looking to buy here, you just, you gotta be so careful. You gotta be so careful on these guys because if you look at the month chart, look how, look how much room this has to fall guys. I mean, even in, in the last couple of days, it's up from a penny all the way up to eight cents. That's up 800% in the last couple of days. And it ran all the way up here. So I'm really grateful that this continued to go because with the way it closed yesterday, I was not expecting too much out of this. I really was not. Uh, so the fact that it, you know, was able to close here, it's a good sign because I mean, it looks like it's holding these gains. So either it continues to spike in my opinion, or we see a big panic and I'm fine with either one because I'm not holding it long term. So I'll look to dip by the panic or if we get nice breakouts of like intraday resistance levels, I'll look to buy those. 
And again, that whole cent mark that I always talk about, there's always a nice little breakout or you know intraday resistance levels like this. I could draw a line here and you could probably see it. I mean, how many times did it fail off this 8.6 area? Bounce here, failed, bounce here, failed, bounce here, failed, bounce here, failed. So I mean, if this broke 8.6, like kind of in this area of the chart, I for sure would have bought that. Would have seen a nice pop. Probably break above nine cents. So just be looking for that, guys. Learn to recognize the momentum. SIRC. I wish I could click there. I guess I cannot. SIRC. This is another. Uh, I, oh gosh, I could be wrong. Maybe it's not an OTC. I feel like it trades like an OTC, but I could be wrong. Uh, but this this same same thing, guys. Lots of nice volatility. I believe it's an OTC. I could be wrong again. If I'm wrong, comment down below. Correct my my silly batukas. Got to keep it a PG for you guys. But look for the dip buys on this one. Look for the breakouts. If we look at this chart, it's up a lot. So we could see a bigger panic. We could definitely see a bigger panic on this one. I mean, it's up a lot. It is up a lot. So I expect a bigger panic. Uh, I got to make sure it's on my watch list, actually. There we go. Got that one. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I'm saying on this one. Expect a panic. Panic dip buy for this one. MSRT. Uh, just kind of choppy. Not a whole lot, but um, you can see the chart is somewhat interesting. I mean, definitely has has had some explosive days. So that was just a small little trade there. OZSC, not do. Gosh, I ah no. All right, I keep forgetting I can't click there. OZSC, this one that's a misprint. Um, that, that just messes up the whole chart for the day. That's annoying. Yeah, I mean that's that's really annoying. Um, you can see here. I wonder if there's some way I can get rid of this. All right, I can't, I can't even move it. Yeah, that's a misprint. It did not go all the way down there. But I mean, it had a nice spike up and then a nice little panic. Nice bounce. Nice panic. Nice bounce. Nice panic. Nice bounce. So, I mean, that's all I'm looking for on these guys. That's all I'm looking for. Either a breakout or uh, a panic dip buy. I feel, I feel like I say the same thing every video, but hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully I can beat it into each of your brains and, uh, you know, you can start to recognize the patterns because that's the goal of this. I mean, it's, it's still going up. It's still going up. So maybe we test these highs here. If we get a breakout over these levels, that'd be nice. Uh, or we could get a panic, another panic. Not sure. I'll be watching. That's all I'm saying. MJNA is another one, guys. Uh, again, remember yesterday. If I go two days on this one, where does the chart change? Yeah, it was up nice. And uh, again, I said looking here, you know, since it's above this, it could easily, you know, break, go into that four or five cent area. And I mean, it went higher than I expected. It went all the way up to 6.5. So this one is now up a lot. Could definitely continue to run on this breakout. Or it could fail and we'll get a panic dip buy. That was a lot of green candles in a row. That was a lot of green candles in a row. That was 20, what is that, 20, 23 green candles, 24 green candles in a row? Jesus. That is ludicrous. That's insane. That's how you know a big panic is coming up. That is way too many green. That is unhealthy. So just be watching this one. Another one, guys. I mean, there's so many opportunities. ENZC. This one uh, just kept running, guys. Just kept running, kept ripping. I did not take advantage of this nearly as much as I should have. Um, but, I mean, it closed strong. It closed strong. And then there was a little bit of sell-off for people who were taking profits right before close. But I think this could gap up again. Look at that, four green days in a row. I think it could gap up again, but at some point we're gonna get a nice panic. You just gotta be watching all of these. And I mean, so many good buying opportunities, you know? Buying the breakouts, buying the dips. You buy the breakout of this previous resistance, nice, holds it. And now there's new resistance here, you buy when it breaks out that, just keeps going up. I mean, <laughs> as long as you're cutting your losses quickly, guys, the profits from these small trades really add up. And if you have, a, an account that's under the PDT rule, under 25K, just focus on the A plus grade setups where you have the most potential for profit from one trade. And for me, that's if you get a massive panic out of one of these and then, you know, it's gonna bounce hard. So these little breakouts, you know, might not be worth it if you have a smaller account, but if, you, if you're over the PDT rule, man, you're just, just feasting on this. Beasting and feasting. Let's keep going, guys. Literally everything I traded today is on the watch list for tomorrow and that's pretty much it. Uh, AITX, this one had a beautiful morning panic. Beautiful. I mean, it, there's not a ton of range on that. I mean, from 11.6 down to 10 cents. 
But I mean, it's beautiful. Bounce right off the psychological mark of 10 cents. Nice little bounce there. I'd like to see more range on this one. Uh, but I mean, we did get the panic we were looking for. So I'm still watching this. I love this one. I think executions are normally really fast for me, at least on AITX. So I'm going to be watching AITX. Let's see, what else do we have? So many opportunities, guys. Literally so many opportunities. WDLF. This one's breaking out past these levels. Uh, so this one, it's going to be on heavy watch. You can see the highs here. 0099, 0098. So if this breaks out and we see this pass one cent, this would be great, guys. The breakout of one cent on WDLF is going to be huge. So if that comes, heck yeah, I'd love to buy that. Otherwise, maybe we get a nice panic. And it's a little bit choppy, but again, this is this is how the charts for double O, uh, you know, charts look like. This is what they look like. Uh, just because every single tick is such a large percentage of the stock. So just keep that in mind. Uh, keep going down. AACG, okay, I already talked about that one. LLIT, this one, uh, it's a low float. I've traded it before and it just perked up. And when you catch these perking up on trade ideas, uh, you know, you hop in early, you ride a little bit of momentum and you take your profits. That's all this one was. ALYI. I keep forgetting I can't double click. ALYI is uh, just another nice breakout, guys. Look at this chart. Another nice breakout. I mean, yeah, we go here. I mean, it's, a, it's another nice breakout. So this could see a nice run. This could break 10 cents tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised. Or we could see panic. Again, I don't know which one it's going to do. I'm not holding it long term because I have no idea. But uh, I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to be here to profit on whatever it does. FORW. Again, this is running in sympathy for TSMP because they have 500 million warrants for TSMP. So if TSMP is worth a dollar, uh, they, they're going to have $500 million worth of stock for TSMP. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. FORW is always sympathy to TSMP. Running nice. If we get a big panic on TSMP, this will also see a big panic. So keep that in mind. Yeah, it had a really nice run. Had a nice run. Keep that in mind. Uh, I personally just prefer TSMP over this one, but uh, it's up to you which one you want to trade. DTEA, <laughs> David's T Incorporated. I just saw this spiking up, honestly, and uh, not much more to it. I mean, it's a nice breakout. If you look at this chart, again, nice breakout, but it looks a little bit overextended. Volume, not a ton on this one, uh, but potentially could see some type of panic. Or continue to break out. We'll have to see. But, you know, I, I like the looks of the chart. It's interesting for sure. P-U-R-A. This is another uh, OTC stock. Wow, this closed a high day. I would expect a gap up on this one personally. But I guess we'll see. Uh, kind of some uh, overhead resistance here. You know, four and a half, five in that area. So uh, we'll see what happens. See if it can break that. If it can, definitely on watch this. I mean, three months, beautiful breakout. It could just see a big panic, uh, but we'll see. This potentially would have been one to overnight long. Again, I just, I don't like overnight longing because I cannot cut my losses if a stock, you know, gaps down. There's nothing I can do about that. My strategy is so focused on cutting losses quickly. S-I-N-G, this is another one. This is another one. Going hard. I made uh, three cents on this ticker. Absolutely killed it. <laughs> Um, you can see here, I mean, close near the highs, we could see a gap up on this one. The area to watch for this is the breakout over probably four cents because the high here is at 395. So if this breaks out over that, uh, we could see a nice little run on this one. That would be 52 week highs. So just keep that in mind. S I N G have to see how this one reacts, but, uh, could see some good things out of this one. If it breaks that could see a nice little run and then probably at some point it'll get overextended and we'll see a morning panic dip by maybe not even morning panic, afternoon panic dip by doesn't have to be in the morning. S oh, I can't click. That's about the 10th time I've done that in this video. S-F-O-R. Uh, not sure what it's doing in after hours. Misprint there. But, uh, I mean, this one had a beautiful run as well. Nice little dip by here. Fake out here. You got to be careful of those. So, again, that's why I get out as soon as it turns against me. Uh, but the second time, boom. Got it nicely. Got it bigly. And uh, just watch for these uh, resistance levels here. That's what I'm going to be looking for. Probably, if I had to guess, it's probably going to gap up because it held its gains pretty well, but we'll see. We'll see on this one. Um, yeah, I mean, 
11.5 might be an important resistance area, then 15 cents, if it breaks that, could easily test 20 cents. 21 is, is the high from this run, so keep that in mind. Um, just on the watch list, guys. Just another one that's on the watch list. So many OTC stocks are in play, printed money. HIPH, I don't believe I talked about this one. Uh, this one was just really tough to trade. Executions were really hard on this one. Uh, I tried to buy some high a days. It might have been here. I mean, this was just a oh, this beautiful breakout, guys. Look at that. U-shaped breakout, rip through that uh, as soon as it broke through that. I mean, look at the volume candle there. Absolutely rip through that resistance. At nine, I mean, it's a whole whole number. Obviously, one is also important. Um, one cent, but I mean, this one was just beautiful for me. I probably won't trade this again because my orders took forever to go through and then to cancel. Um, and I probably took two big sides. I took a million shares. So, uh, yeah, I may have gotten a little carried away on this one. Um, but just be careful if you have fidelity because, again, if you place an order to buy and then you decide you don't want to buy and you hit cancel, like it could take 30 seconds, 45 seconds to cancel. And in that time, in that time, it could tank past where you are and, uh, you know, it doesn't fill you or it does fill you and, and you can't, you can't sell. So just be careful with this stock. Um, ILUS, I can't trade this on fidelity. It was down a lot today. It actually had a really good press release right here, spiked it up and then it just tanked past that. Heck of weird, bro. Never seen anything like that. That was strange. So, uh, I don't know what to expect on this, but I can't trade it, so is what it is. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I've talked about so many tickers, so many tickers. I mean, got to be like 20, 20 tickers, 25 tickers I've talked about. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did and you made it this far, please smash that like button. I'll think of something cool tomorrow, I swear. I swear I will. Uh, I'm feeling better, though, so if you care about me and you made it to the end of the video, know that I am no longer nearly as sick as I was, so... Good news, and uh, yeah, that's it guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, let's grow better together. Preguntar, bebé, dime por qué te mientes. No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes.